Hello, this is Wampire. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about the jab, the importance of the jab. And uh, the jab comes from, obviously, uh, Western boxing. Um, I've always said before that Western boxing and Eskrima are very closely related and that you should train in both. Um, so the difference is that in Eskrima, the boxing jab is a little bit different because, uh, for one, it's going to be bare knuckle because we're talking about... Um, for the street, for self-defense. So you have to practice it bare knuckles. So I would recommend to you guys to, to actually do that, to, to actually take off your gloves and to practice throwing the jab and hitting the target with your two biggest knuckles. So get in the habit of, of doing that. And uh, you gotta be careful because if the bag that you're hitting um, if it's made of a type of canvas, it can rip the skin. So you just, just be careful with that. Uh, but you still want to get in that, that kind of practice to where you are going to have a more accurate aim where, where you are using, utilizing the two biggest knuckles. And the other thing is uh, where we're actually hitting. Uh, the great thing about the jab is that it's non-committed. It's just a quick, quick strike like so. That, that you don't have to like fully commit yourself in there. But the other thing is because what we do in Eskrima is defang the snake, we're actually aiming for their arm. And that makes it even less committed because in normal boxing, the areas, the organs and stuff that you're aiming for, you gotta, you gotta go in deeper to actually hit those hard. And uh, uh, even like the chin and stuff if you're trying to hit them with a jab right on the chin or on the nose and stuff like that or, or the eye I mean that that does you're gonna have to get closer But because it's the arm that we're actually aiming in Eskrima, we don't have to commit as much So so that's a good benefit right there the arm is uh, we're aiming for like the bony area right here And then of course the fingers if you could hit the pinky that would be great uh, and then on the inside right here, the funny bone area, if you could actually hit that with the knuckles, that could, that could work pretty well too. Uh, and all the muscular areas too, if you want to hit that, that's fine as well. Uh, just keep in mind to keep your expectations low. So it's not like you're going to hit them on the arm a couple of times and then all of a sudden you've rendered their arm useless. That, that's not going to happen and you shouldn't expect that. It may there's a small percentage that that can, but you should definitely not expect that. And that's not the purpose. The purpose for throwing this jab, this very non-committed Eskrima style of jab, where you're actually hitting their arm, right, is what you're doing there is you, from there, can set up the opponent. So from there, like, maybe you could set them up for a double leg takedown. And uh, for Eskrima, like like I said, we're not wrestlers here, and and uh, I'm terrible at wrestling. So from there, I would go into the combat wedgie, which I showed before, uh, which which uh, which is kind of a dirty technique because you're attacking their groin. But hey, this is street. This is self defense. This is you not wanting to be a victim. This is you trying to survive. So in the case of survival, I think it would be it would be fine, and that's why we also use weapons, right? Uh, but but the other thing is even if you're not trying to set them up with something uh, because this is like a street type situation or self-defense or home invasion or, or whatever it is right uh, because of that um, you might be going well if you're expecting me to just like keep the distance with my opponent which that is one of our strengths in Eskrima because if you've ever practiced with someone full contact they have a stick and you have a stick it doesn't even have to be full contact it could be semi full contact or or 50 percent if you do that one of the main defenses against someone with a stick or a weapon is distance so what you're doing here is you're learning how to maintain the distance so by being non-committed you're keeping track and you're keeping as much distance as possible from your opponent so even if you don't use this jab this is scream a jab to set up the opponent for something else at the very least you're keeping distance but in a real life situation let's say you're a woman jogging or something and then someone's trying to attack you do bad things to you in this case you're going to do the same thing you want to keep them off of you and you want to keep the distance and if you can you're going to run away but 
So in that case, it's still the same jab and you're still doing the same thing, but hopefully you have a weapon in your hand. So I don't care if it's a water bottle or if your keys at the very least, it should be your keys and you're doing the jab the same way and you're defanging the snake, keeping the distance so they can't grab a hold of you. And uh, that's the exact same idea. So it doesn't change whether it's like a, a street fight or if it's more of a self-defense situation where you're trying to run away and not get abducted or not get raped it's still the same technique so anyway that's it for now thank you for listening and take care folks